Bushcraft 412 and today I want to show you one of the neatest things I've picked up in a while. Uh, one of the good things in life is when people start to find out and realize that you're a collector, people tend to give you their old stuff. And this is one of those cases where I picked up something that's just an absolute find. Someone said, hey, I got some old knives. I, I understand you like old knives. And so this is what I came up with. This, the person handed it to me, and I could tell right away it was a decent knife. Uh, just by the feel and everything. And uh, I just had a hunch, and I'm like, you know, I'd, I'd gladly will accept something like this. And to my surprise, what is it? Let's see if we can focus here. There we go. It is a Camillus 1973 military issue folding knife. Very cool. Has a blade. Has a can opener. Get this down. This thing is incredibly stiff and has good spring holding the blades. Can opener. Another one. Very cool stainless steel skein, uh, stainless steel scales, full rivet design, no screws or anything holding it together. Very neat little thing. Um, 1973 military issue. The guy who gave it to me was ex military. Doubt he got this in the service. He probably bought it from the military base after returning to the States. Uh, but I've looked these up, and these sell on eBay for anywhere from uh, like ten bucks up to like thirty and forty dollars. And I see some websites trying to sell them for like eighty bucks, but I doubt they're ever going to sell at that price range. But this is just the neatest little thing I picked up, and you know, kind of goes to show you when uh, you know you collect knives. It's not all about the new thing that comes out and spending a fortune on knives. It's about these little gems right here that people have hidden away and. You know, they don't know what to do with They don't want to throw them away, but they don't want to sell them. And, you know, there's a lot of stuff out there. People are just looking to have to a nice home. And if you're the kind of person who appreciates this kind of thing, these things fall into your lap, which is really nice. And, you know, it is nice to see how, you know, the world of knives has changed in the last uh, almost 40 years. Um, just in how, you know, this is basically kind of like a military Swiss Army knife. So... You know, it's not quick deploy. It's not something you can whip out, but just the quality and how hard everything locks up and, you know, how hard the springs are. You know, times have really changed as for uh, what people expect out of knives in the past 40 years. So it's really cool. It's really cool. This is a nice piece of, you know, military history. And this is also, now it has some sentimental value and it's something I'm going to hold on to and put as part of my collection and really glad to have it really neat 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 piece of history right here once again Camillus and by the way you know I am a New Yorker so Camillus was a New York company and uh, I actually grew up not too far from the Camillus uh, company uh, maybe like 30 40 minutes away and they closed in 2007 and you know I knew people who worked there and you know, it's always a shame to see a local company go under. I know they make, you know, they make knives now. Another company bought them out, but they don't make them in America, and they're just not the the same company they used to be. But Kimonos used to be a big deal, and you know, they made K bars. They made they made a lot of cool stuff, and it was a shame to see them go. And I'm glad I got this little little piece of history to kind of hold on to. Bushcraft 412, and and that's it.